Dumpty dump jump jump. Lessons, huh? Don't tell Uncle Quigley. Don't tell him what? That you were starting a dog farm under your jacket? He followed me home. His name's Alvin. Can I keep him? Oh, brother, another one. What? Sabrina, you don't have the best track record with pets. You may mean well, but as soon as you get bored, I'm always left to take care of them. Not always. What about pancreas? Uh? When was the last time you changed her water? <laughs> And Hermes the hamster? Two weeks after you got him, you were bored and stopped playing with him. Poor little guy. Wonder what happened to him. Hi, my name is Hermes, and I never got affection growing up. Hi, Hermes. But this is a whole new ball game, I promise. Hmm. He is a cute little guy, but his owners are probably looking for him. I'll put up signs, please. You'd be the best uncle in the nine netherworlds. Look, you scratch his tummy and his leg twitches. Just like Winston Churchill. Or so I'm told. Sabrina, pets require long-term constant commitment. I promise I'll train him and feed him and walk him long term. Nobody will even know he's here. Okay, then. But the minute you slack off, young lady, that dog goes to a shelter. I won't let you down. Don't let the dog down. Gee, manay. I just had the worst nightmare. Sabrina came home with, of all awful things, a disgusting, mangy dog. <laughs> Hopefully nobody will call. Then you'll be mine forever. Come on, buddy, let's go. Anything. Just sitting here all by myself, bored. <laughs> no, 
not for doggies. That could do terrible things to... <laughs> what, Harvey? Sure, I'd love to come over. I'll be right there. does, Miss Maruzak. Alvin, I should probably put you in the kitchen, but Quigley won't notice if you sleep here. Just one. Uh, what's happening to him? He's alive. <laughs> He's alive, I tell you. Alive! <laughs> Park. Allegory. Ambush. Hmm. Maybe he's been kidnapped and spirited away to a doggy work farm in upstate New York. Hey, a cat can dream, can't he? I knew I shouldn't have let him sleep up here. Quigley's going to be so mad. Sabrina, I need to talk to you about that pooch of yours. Great job. I'm sorry. I know he's supposed to sleep in the kitchen. I just... Great job. For all the work you've done with that little guy. Why, just this morning, I watched as he let himself in and out the back door with his little tiny puppy whoppy paw. How'd you teach him that? Um... <laughs> well, I don't need to know your secrets. Just keep up the good work. Amazing. Just amazing. I didn't teach him that. Maybe he just picked it up on his own. Dogs are idiot creatures that run around in circles for no apparent reason and munch grass till they vomit. Trust me, they don't just pick up on things. Salem! Alvin! <laughs> What's going on, boy? Are you trying to tell me something? What's that? Timmy's in the well? No, actually, it's Salem in the well, and he could use a little bit of help here, please. What are you, a guppy? Pull me out of here! Good boy, Alvin. You saved Salem. Saved me? <laughs> he tried to drown me. What? How do you think I got in there? He picked me up and threw me in. <laughs> he, uh, picked you up? Well, yeah. Shame on you, Salem, trying to frame poor little Alvin. What? That dog's not normal. I'm telling you, he's possessed. Possessed? Don't be ridiculous. You're just jealous. Jealous of a dog? Yeah, right after I staple roller skates to my paws and scoot around making choo-choo noises. You don't fool me, pal. Did you see that? Look what he's doing. I'm ignoring you, Salem. Ha <laughs> ha! Busted, stupid mutt. Don't ever laugh at me. You can talk? Yeah! Don't believe me, do they? Think I'm just jealous, huh? Don't believe the precious little dog is possessed? Well, I'll prove it to them. Greendale 
Hotel Junkyard? What would they be doing? Who's speaking? His name's Alvin, and he's got some radical ideas, I hear. More dogs that can talk? This is my worst nightmare. You know why I've gathered you, brothers? Who in this crowd has been mistreated by the humans? Well, I, yeah, I, I, I got that right. Yeah. 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 You, Bosley, tell us what they did to you. My name is Bosley. My humans go off to work all day and leave me locked indoors. And if I have an accident, they, they yell at me. Ooh. You, Emma. My humans never brush me. They never bathe me. I am constantly bitten by the fleas. I feel dirty and unloved. You, Ling Ling. Yeah, they dress me up in these humiliating little outfits. They stick me in front of a TV camera, and they make me sell fast food egg rolls. And what of me, you ask? The worst offense of all. A girl took me home, and I was lost, and she... <laughs> she forgot I existed. She stopped playing with me, and even forgot to feed me. Well, that ends today! The canine race is no longer subject to the cruel whims of humankind. I will lead you, my four-legged brethren, to the mountains where dogs run free and hunting is good! Go with the humans! But our powers are fleeting. Our power of speech derives from a magical totem. Its power will make us strong. Tonight we strike! The spooky jar is going to the dogs! I've got to warn Sabrina. Eep! Get that cat! <laughs> it appears we have a spy in our midst. Get your hands off me, you dang dirty dogs! <laughs> Where could he be? Alvin? Bosley! Bosley! Emma? Here, girl! Mr. Snurdly! Here, boy! Huh? <laughs> What's going on? Someone stole all the dogs in town and looted all the pet stores! Now, calm down, everyone! Where's my dog? My store was broken into and I want to know about it. Um, we're looking into it. Now, in the meantime, the sensible thing to do is to form a posse and hunt down those bandits. Yeah! And here is the leader of the dog-suited bandits. He's possessed. Possessed, possessed, possessed. Oh, no. Salem was telling the truth. Don't hit. Don't hit. I'm feeling fragile at the moment. What happened to you? It's Alvin. He's gone mad. I just barely escaped. He kidnapped Hilda and Zelda and Quigley. But why? He's a dog. Do you need any more explanation than that? Oh. The spooky jar. I had time to lock it all up safe and sound. Safe and sound. <laughs> Safe. It's sound. Hold me. Don't be so pathetic. He wants us to meet at the Tasty Bone Factory with the Spooky Jar. If we ever want to see our family again. fed and played with him, none of this would have happened. Why did I leave the spooky jar out? It's all my fault. I hate to say it, but I told you so. 
You don't hate it, you love it. Guilty as charged. Wait! Ow! Me? I'm not going back there! You got out. I need you to show me the way back in. No! I'd sooner die a thousand lingering painful deaths than face those horrible slavering canine monsters. I'll give you a ball of yarn. Hmm. Okay. Like those two are the only dogs on guard. Cover me. With what? Here, a dog treat. Blech, <laughs> lamb and rice? I'm just saying, you gotta ask yourself, is sniffing each other really the best method of saying hello? Uh, interesting point, uh, interesting. I mean, yeah, why couldn't we just shake hands or something? Really makes you wonder, Fluffy. That it does, Scraps. Yeah, that it does. Hey, where are you going? Oh, man! Beef and liver flavor! <laughs> I've been expecting you. Tito, Bosley, apprehend her! Geranium! <laughs> Salem, what were you thinking? Oh, don't overwhelm me with your gratitude all at once there. You tried to fool me! How dare you! You're not getting the spooky jar. Then you're not getting your freedom. Why are you doing this? We're sick of the way you people treat dogs. The way you take us for granted. Forget to feed us. Treat us like objects. We have feelings too, you know. But Alvin... And you're no different. Getting so caught up in your life that you ignored me. Just like my original owners leaving me at the park. All I want is for someone to love me. I didn't mean anything by it, Alvin. I'm so sorry. You're the cutest, sweetest dog ever. You mean that? Well, it's too late. I'm serious. The way you jumped in my lap the first time we met, you were so trusting, and I let you down. Got that right. But that's why people like dogs so much. You're forgiving and kind and loving, and you're our best friends. <laughs> What's going on? The spell must be fueled by Alvin's feelings. If she makes him remember what it's like being a dog, it will go away. Sabrina, it's working. It's working. Make him remember being a dog. But it's true. It's my fault. Alvin, will you forgive me? I... I love you. Really? You do? police car and make the siren go woo? Really? You're not toying with me like last time. No, I'm in a generous mood today. Come 
on, Alvin. Let's go home. Come on, you flea barge. Throw me the steak and ball. Much. My husband and I have been looking for him ever since he got lost in the woods. So you didn't just leave him? Oh, not on your life. We searched for days. I love him more than you can imagine. I know how you feel. I'm going to miss him. Yeah, you know, I will too. Good, because I'm thinking about getting another dog. Over my dead, festering body. Savage, we love you.